Main article. Republic era. I will not let this republic that has stood for a thousand years be split in two. My negotiations will not fail. If they do, you must realize there aren't enough Jedi to protect the Republic. We are keepers of the peace, not soldiers. Sheev Palpatine and Mace Windu It was towards the end of the Republic era that the Sith Lord Darth Sidious executed his plans for galactic domination, beginning with the blockade of Naboo, his homeworld that he represented as Senator Sheev Palpatine. The Sith Order, having survived its near destruction through Darth Bane's rule of two, conspired for generations to reclaim their place of dominance in the galaxy. By Sidious' time, the Sith secretly resided on Coruscant in spite of the Jedi Order's presence on the capital. The Jedi at the time were under the belief that their ancient rivals had been extinct for over a millennium. Under the influence of the Sith, the Trade Federation blockaded and occupied the planet Naboo in 32 BBY, forcing its elected ruler, Queen Padme Amidala, to flee to Coruscant seeking Senator Palpatine's counsel. Among the Queen's retinue was Anakin Skywalker, a former slave from Tatooine. Skywalker was brought to the Jedi Temple by Jedi Master Ki Gon Jinn, who believed him to be the chosen one destined to bring balance to the Force. In the Senate, Supreme Chancellor Finnis Valorum was unable to respond to the invasion of Naboo. Amidala, having learned from Palpatine about the corruption in the Republic government, called for stronger leadership by denouncing Valorum as a head of state. Consequently, Valorum was voted out of office and Palpatine was elected as the new Supreme Chancellor. During the early years of Palpatine's chancellery, he brought Skywalker to the lower levels of Coruscant, revealing corruption and the Republic's limitations to the young Jedi apprentice.